This is footwork and agility drill workout two. Now with this, very similar to workout one, we wanna make sure that this is before our lifts and never after a lower body lift or immediately after a lower body lift. We're gonna start this with our full dynamic warm up, just like we're gonna do with any agility or conditioning drill. Now with this, this is gonna be more linear, at least with the first few exercises. So similar to what we did in the last drill, we're gonna make sure that we find a way to get it done, whether it be with sidewalk chalk or using sticks, just to have a landmark or some sort of uh, apparatus to be able to get an understanding of where we need to be. So with this first one, we're gonna go two foot hops. I told you it's gonna be more linear. We're gonna go two foot hops over a line or over a stick. We're gonna make sure that we take our time with this. We're gonna make sure knees don't buckle in. We force those knees out. Our hinge happens in our hip first. We wanna make sure that this is our main mover or our main decelerator in the movement. So we're gonna do that slow and then we're gonna do that fast for the time and reps that are on the sheet. When we go fast, we really need to watch that those knees don't buckle in. A lot of us are gonna end up coming here. We wanna make sure that we ingrain good technique that's gonna carry over onto the field, the court, the diamond, whatever it is. So we wanna be out here and moving as quick as possible. Make sure you have the understanding of where the line is. You should have good dexterity with your feet as you guys go through. We're gonna also do that single leg, both right leg and left leg. Again, you're gonna have more tendency for that knee to buckle in when you're on a single leg. We're gonna go slow and control first. Try and engage that hip, it's gonna force that knee out, both in and out, taking your time, landing and absorbing down, just like it says on the sheet. And then we'll go rapid fire with that. Make sure you go over that line. Don't just be putting that foot wherever. You need to have precision with every single step on that. You need to be a surgeon with calculated movements with that. Once we finish that, we're gonna to move to our in and out out. Again, staying with the linear theme. Very similar to what we did with those icky shuffles, we're gonna go tempo first. The rules are very much the same. Depth is number one, hinging at my hips, making sure I have neutral spine. That's gonna be first. In addition to that, we wanna make sure that feet stay underneath the body, just like we did with the icky shuffle, but now it's feet underneath our body coming forward and back. I'll go from the side on this. The cadence is gonna be in, in, out, out. Stepping up over that line, making sure hips are back, chest is up, eyes are up, and arms are moving. So we're gonna move through at a jogging tempo, then we'll move to sprint as quick as we can. Again, precision with your feet. Moving back and forth with that, changing tempos, but not changing technique. Always ready and always prepared to move in that good depth position. Now, we're also gonna go with some turn calls on that. So we're gonna move through at that sprinting tempo, and then we're gonna give turn calls, hopefully external, but if not, just do them on your own, and you're gonna to swing to the other side of that line or the other side of that stick or whatever it might be. So I'm moving through, feet underneath, hips low. When I get that turn call, I'm gonna to move to the other side and get back with it. Turn, turn. Feet always stay underneath. The more depth you have, the more control you have of your body. Make sure you're relaxed in an upper body and make sure you're starting to set good habits as far as where that eye line is. You can glance down with your eyes, but your chin should not be buckling and causing that trunk to move forward. We're gonna add sprints to this as well. So I'm gonna go through that in and out, out, understanding feet underneath my body, hopefully an external call, but if not, that's fine. I'll get that call, my foot will be underneath. I'm gonna push through my hip, accelerate horizontally out. Make sure you don't come up with this. You wanna keep that good drive line as you come through. So I'm going through, sprint, feet underneath, accelerate and drive out. There can be a slight pause in your transition to establish the good understanding of hip drive. As we get better, we'll start to shorten and shorten that pause. Okay, we're gonna move into some more agility drills now that are going to staple those same concepts in feet underneath, making sure we have depth in our hips. So first thing is gonna be a box drill. Just like I talked about in the last video, we wanna make sure when we do these that we have a good surface to be on. If you have cleats and all you have is grass, that's fine. If not, you can be on concrete or macadam, but again, we wanna try and save contact points as much as possible. We don't wanna be burying our feet in the ground. So with this, I'm gonna start at one cone. I'm gonna accelerate out and you drive arm action. I'm gonna drop those hips, feet underneath understanding the same thing as the in and out out. I'm gonna push hard through my outside foot, just like I understood with the icky shuffle. I'm gonna keep that depth, plant underneath, make sure my foot doesn't stray outside my body. I'm going to back pedal, shoulders over my toes, drop down, foot underneath, and slide back through. 
We're gonna do that both clockwise and counterclockwise so we can get those good lateral push off points out of those transitions. It's gonna be our box drill there. From there, we're gonna to move to a pro agility. It's gonna be done in a bunch of different ways. Ideally, you wanna use a tape measure and you wanna put it out as five, 10, five, but you could just pace it off. Again, sidewalk chalk is great. You can put shoes out. You can put any landmark out. Just make sure it's nothing that you're gonna trip over if your foot strays outside the line. So now with this, we're not trying to train for the NFL combine here, but we do wanna have some technique. I'm going to my right, my right hand is down, my right foot is slid back and rotated out. I lean onto that right leg. I'm gonna explode through that front foot, accelerate to that line, touch with my outside hand, push through my inside foot on this so that we can get an understanding of both pushing through your outside and inside. It's more sport specific to push through your outside, but obviously you use all technique, all techniques in sports. I'm gonna sprint back to the opposite line, foot underneath my body. I'm gonna accelerate back through. So I'm gonna do that with sprints, both to the right and left. I'll also do it with shuffles. The big thing on this is to make sure foot doesn't stray outside my body. So I'm gonna be here, push through that outside foot, foot underneath, touch, foot underneath, touch, and then coming back through, finishing through the line. We'll do it with forward and backward sprints. This is where we use that in and out, out technique here. I accelerate out. I drop my hips, feet are underneath. I'm gonna back pedal backwards. Have awareness, don't be looking here. You should have somewhat of an understanding of what 10 yards is. You're going to drop feet underneath, not taking a big reach step, foot underneath, and then accelerate back through the start line. We'll also go back, sprint, and then back. Make sure we understand that this is not just to get a sweat. We're trying to establish some technique that's gonna carry over into any part of our season. So it shouldn't just make us immediately better. This should have a ton of carryover. 